All right, so we've got my setup here. It's going. So let me see if my people can see me now. What time is it? Oh, good. I still got three minutes, so I'm still on time. Praise God, I'm still on time. For you cannot see all the things God is doing right now. Can I see it? It's not on my smirk platform. Lord, what's going on with this stuff? It's not so confident. It's not connecting. Jesus in. Okay, yeah, it is. Yeah, I see it now. Now I see it. Now I see it's connected. It's connected. It's connected. Y'all was praying. Was y'all praying for me? Was you praying for our sister? Appreciate it. I appreciate all the prayer and all the help I can get. The wrong problem. I'm looking on my main page. I do not see it, but maybe I have to wait a few minutes. And then you will know that God is God. Then you will. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the hearts, Simba. Thank you, thank you, thank you for whoever was sending me the heart. No, he's a will in the middle of the will. You know he's always beside you. He's still. Okay, it says that I'm live on YouTube. You know he's there to lead and guide you. You know, 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 encourage yourself. Okay, so yep, I'm on. Oh, one of my platforms on YouTube. I have three. Let me run to another one, see if it's up. She said you woke up this morning and you could Okay, it's live on Tamport. Okay, let me go see if my husband has me. He should be up. Everything should be. Okay. We put up a backup. Put up a backup. So God gave me all these things, but I got all these gadgets. So I'm using. Hey, hey, Southern Breeze, Miss Linda, how are you, sweetie? You see me still trying to get stuff set up. I'm still working on it. Praise God. Let me run and see if the husband is connected. It says reload site. Changes you made may not be saved. I don't want to reload no site. But you cannot see all the things God is doing right now. Encourage yourself, don't you see? So encourage yourself in the blood of Jesus. Encourage yourself now. Encourage yourself. Upgrade now. No, no, no. Upgrade clothes. Thank you for using. Okay. Try to get my Facebook. Facebook. We walk by faith and not by sight. It's not on you. you cannot see. When I test it, everything is just fine. Then when I come go live, stuff be messing up. Photo tag. Um, I ain't did live for my gang in so long. I don't even know how no more. Okay, here we go. Um, So we are reading First Samuel. Those of you who have your Bibles and will be reading along with me, we are reading from First Samuel. First Samuel, the twenty-third chapter. 
verses five through other will you I think five through thir- five through twenty nine. Five through twenty nine and um in chapter twenty four verses one through you'll know when courage said and then you'll know you'll know you'll know okay one more time and then we should be set up by the time it finishes okay 24 through, through oh, okay we're chapter 24 all right so tonight we're reading first samuel the 23rd chapter verses 5 through 29 and 20 chapter 24 Think I Don't you know he gave you eyes to see the dawning of a this new day? So encourage yourself in the blood of Jesus. Encourage yourself down in His word. Just encourage yourself in the blood of Jesus. Encourage yourself. I can't see a thing. What's going on right there? Oh well. I'll read it like this. I have gadgets behind gadgets behind gadgets. Hey Diane. Sister Diane, so where'd you come on at? Catch the fish and they have Did you come? Because I, I just set up my, my phone because it wasn't live. Maybe it is now. So you cannot see. Which phone? Oh, I need a phone. I'll use this phone. God is doing right now. Encourage yourself. Blessed Don't evening, blessed evening, blessed evening, everybody having challenges, technical Jesus difficulties, trying to get the stuff set up. But I think we have it. Hey, my beloved John Mutui, all the way in, uh, not Kenya, Nigeria. I always get you confused because I have people in Kenya and in Nigeria. And I saw something in the paper from the news last night about something going on. Oh, I know. I think I think I read about a tribe of women in Kenya or Nigeria that do not allow soul. any God bless you savage love hello 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 God bless you God bless you that doesn't allow any women any men in their community and so they have become a community of themselves they become a community of themselves where no men are allowed and, and there are people that have been abused or uh, mutilated or women Kenya thank you thank you Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate you. He said he in Kenya. Boldly. Think about people in Africa. They love where they're from. They don't be tripping like us here in America. We don't, you know, sometimes we might, sometimes we might not. Break up master. Oh, no, we're not going to break up on here. We don't break up. We come on here and we make up with Jesus. We come on here and we become fellowship and we come to know the Lord. And then we fall in love with Jesus. We just keep. Falling in love with him, falling in love with him over and over again. We just keep falling in love with him, falling in love with him over and over again. It just gets sweeter and sweeter as each day goes by. Oh, what a love between my Lord and I. I keep falling in love with him, falling in love with him over and over again. So that's what we do. We just keep falling in love with the Lord over and over again. Now, I see me on here. Who is close? All up under my chin. (laughs) Oh, gosh. Okay. Seven minute read is finally on. Okay. So I see you guys. I can turn this one off. Diane, I'm shutting this one off because they looking, people looking all up under my, my little fat chin. So let me finish this. Praise God. All right. Okay. No, I don't want to post it. I don't want to post it. I do not want to post it. So I throw in the trash can. Boop. All right. So it must, I guess it just took a lapse of time for it to come over for all. I have 12 platforms coming, pulling into this. We got to realize too, that Satan is the rule of the airways. Okay. Satan runs these airways. We have to be conscious of that and not get so bent out of shape when stuff happens to our gadgets because these gadgets are under the influence of the principalities. All right, it is 7.07, so I done fooled around and fooled around. I don't have no time to, um, 
I don't have no time to talk to nobody right now. I ain't got no time to talk. I got to get into the read in and out on, 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 on the third is what I try to do. We have or we are in the midst of the election going on in Georgia. I will not pick sides. You can imagine whose side I'm on, but we ain't going to pick no side. Well, I'm on the Lord's side. Okay, so I don't have to be shamed to say that I am on the Lord's side. So that would go to say that I'd be on the preacher's side, right? Mm -hmm. So we just going to leave it right there. We're not saying black or white and none of that kind of stuff. But I am on the side of the preacher, on the side of the God side, the God factor. And we're going to learn what happens when we're on the Lord's side. Um, as we read tonight, you do suffer persecution. People even try to kill you when you're on the Lord's side, as we're finding out, even though David was anointed of God, folks was trying to kill him. Amen. Praise God. So let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we do come before you right now, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, oh God, for another opportunity to open my mouth and to give you high sounding praises and reading of your sacred word. For it is your word that will sustain us. It is your word that will keep us. It is your word that will empower us. It is your word that will encourage us. It is your word that will motivate us. It is your word, oh God, that will heal us. It is your word that will deliver us. It is your word that will help us to overcome. It is your word when we have done all that we know how to do to stand, then we can get into the awesome word of God and stand there for, we'll know how to stand there for, we'll know how to stand like a tree planted by the rivers of water that will not be removed, that it leaves may wither, hallelujah, but even with withered leaves whatsoever we do shall prosper, ah, glory to your name, oh God, so we thank you, oh God, for the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, all power is given in your name. As we're reading in the word, you would the, the people would go to God and God would tell them, stand down, stand back, see the salvation of the Lord. So Lord, on this day, January 5th, 2021, we ask you to look upon Georgia. We ask that the spirit of Jehovah Shalom, which is the Prince of Peace, let there be not any confusion. Let there not be any unequal, any unrest. And then, Lord, if there is, then let all of your people that are called by your name be inside their chambers, be inside their houses, safe away from the craziness that is going on out there where Satan runs around seeking whom he may devour. So, Lord, we thank you. Now, Lord, we thank you for the um, opportunity to offer up prayer. Lord, Brother James has come forth on the Meet Me side, and he asks, he just wants some general prayer. So, Lord, we send prayer to James wherever he is you know where he is you know what part of the earth well you know his needs you know his ends you know his outs you know his ups you know his downs you know James by name matter of fact you knew James when you formed him in his mother's womb and you spoke him into existence and then when his mother bore him he became a living being regardless how he came here Lord, maybe James came to here through rape. Maybe James came through here through incest. Maybe James came through here through, through an un, un, uh, illegal uh, relationship, not married. Don't matter how he got here. We're here, oh God. All of us that are breathing the breath of life, you breathed in us and you said we could be whoever we are under the sound of my voice. So we have a reason to rejoice because we're here. Regardless how we got here. We thank you, oh God, we don't have to trip off of how we came to being. But we know that you breathe the breath of life. And we have life. Many babies come, they be born, and they tap them, they hit them, they breathe in them, and they die. They, they, they don't make it. So we know that you got to breathe on it. So we thank you for James, oh God, and for the life that you have given him. Provide all of his needs, and Lord, I call that you would draw him near to you, oh God, in this season. Give him a new walk with you, oh God. Give him a new talk with you, oh God. Give him a new life in Jesus Christ. And if he don't know you, help him to pick up his Bible and read Romans 10 and find out what it say about you. Romans 8 and 10. See what it finds out about what it takes to be saved in the word of God. I think I did it wrong. I think it's 10 and 8. Look it up, oh God. Have him look up. chapter. Read chapter 8, read chapter 10 of Romans. It'll do him good. Do some reading. Read the word. Read the word. 
Now, Lord, I thank you for opening up the ears of the hearers, giving us ears to hear what the Spirit of the living God says to these clay, dirt body churches. We are the church. The building that people go to is called the house of the Lord. We are the church that go into those house of the Lord buildings. But we are the church. So we thank you, O oh God, that those under the sound of my voice, we understand and we know that inside of us is where you live and you move and you have your being if we've invited you in. And then, oh God, we thank you that we realize that the warfare that is going on in the world today is not one between Biden and Trump. It's between the principalities. It's between powers. It's begins principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places, the rulers of darkness of this world. That's what's got stuff all in and up people. But we ask for righteousness to reign today, oh God. All around the world. We're not going to be selfish. Not just the United States. We're praying for Africa too. I got my son on here for Africa. We're praying for Australia too. Got my daughter over here from Australia. We're praying for all over the world. Oh God, we need to know you in the pardon of our sins. We need to bow down and call upon you and acknowledge you as Lord and Savior. Ask you to heal our land. Ask you to kill the virus. Ask you to correct the policing. Ask you, oh God, to come down here and change the heart of man. Would you do that, oh God? We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you all the praise. We do call it done. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. All right, let's jump into our read. Somebody came in. Hey, Brother Troy, I haven't seen y'all forever. How are you and the wife? You and Risha doing? I see y'all. I see you on, on the Facebooks and stuff, but I haven't seen you on here, so it's good to see you. Somebody else, one nice blend. God bless you, one nice blend. I'm glad you guys are joining the mama today. We're getting into our read. So the read for today is First Samuel, the 23rd chapter. Thank you over here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your little hearts and all your little things. I appreciate you guys. 1 Samuel, the 23rd chapter, uh, verses 5. Somebody said something. Hold on. Let me see what somebody said up here. Okay, okay. Praise God. Chapter 5. 1 Samuel, 23rd chapter, the 5th verse. Reading from the King James Version of the Word of God. And it reads. So David and his men went to Keilah and fought with the Philistines and brought away their cattle and smote them with a great slaughter. So David saved the inhabitants of Keilah. And it came to pass when Abiathar, the son of Ahimelech, fled to David to Keilah, that he came down with an ephod in his hand. And it was told Saul that David was come to Eliah, and Samuel and Saul said, God hath delivered him into mine hand, for he shut in by entering in a town that has gates and bars. And Saul called all the people together to go down to Keilah to besiege David and his men. And David knew that Saul secretly practiced mischief against him. And he said to Abiathar the priest, bring hither the ephod. And, they, and then said David, O Lord God of Israel, thy servant hath certainly heard that Saul seeketh to come to Keilah to destroy the city for my sake. Will the men of Keilah deliver me up into his hand? Will Saul come down as thy servant hath heard? O Lord God of Israel, I beseech thee, tell thy servant. And the Lord said, he will come down. God bless you. Hey, Jaritha, God bless you, sweetie. And happy new year to you. Love you and the twin. And he will come down. So then said David, will the men of Keilah deliver me and my men into the hand of Saul? And the Lord said, they will deliver thee up. Then David and his men, which were about 600 arose and departed out of Keilah and went whithersoever they could go. And it was told Saul that David was escaped from Keilah, and he forbear to go forth. And David abode in the wilderness, in strongholds, and remained in a mountain in the wilderness of Kith. And Saul sought him every day, but God delivered him not into his hands every day. <laughs> and David saw that Saul was come out to seek his life. 
And David was in the wilderness of Ziph in a wood. And Jonathan, Saul's son, arose and went to David into the wood and strengthened his hand in God. He went and encouraged him. And he said unto him, Fear not, for the hand of Saul, my father, shall not find thee, and thou shalt be king over Israel, and I shall be next unto thee. And that also Saul, my father, knoweth. And the two made a covenant between the Lord. And David abode in the wood, and Jonathan went to his house. Then came up the Ziphites to Saul, to Gibeah, saying, Doth not David hide himself with us in strongholds in the wood, in the hill of Machilah, which is on the south of Jeshuman? Now therefore, O king, come down according to all the desire of thy soul to come down, and our part shall be to deliver him into the, hand, into the king's hand. And Saul said, Blessed be ye of the Lord, for ye have compass, ye have compassion on me. Go, I pray you, prepare yet you know, and see his place where his haunt is, and who has seen him there. And if it is told me that he dealeth very subtly, see therefore and take knowledge of all the lurking places where he hideth himself, and come ye again to me with the certainty. And I will go with you, and it shall, be, it shall come to pass, if he be in the land, and I will search him out throughout all the thousands of Judah. And they arose and went to Ziph before Saul. But David and his men were in the wilderness of Maon, in the plain on the south of Jeshimon. So Paul also and his men went to seek him, and they told David therefore. He came down into the rock and abode in the wilderness of Maon. And when Saul heard that, he pursued after David in the wilderness of Maon. And Saul went on this side of the mountain, and David on, and his men on that side of the mountain. And David made haste to get away for fear of Saul. For Saul and his men compassed David, David and his men round about to take them. But there came a messenger unto Saul, saying, Hast thou, hast thee, haste thee, and come, for the Philistines have invaded the land. Wherefore Saul returned from pursuing after David and went against the Philistines. Therefore they called that place Shilahama Likuth. And David went up from thence and dwelt in strongholds at Engedi. Now chapter 24. And it came to pass when Saul was returned from the Philistines that it was told saying, Behold, David is in the wilderness of Engedi. Then Saul took 3,000 chosen men out of all of Israel and went to seek David and his men upon the rocks with the wild goats. And he came to the Shepcod, by the way, where was a cave. And Saul went in to cover his feet. And David and his men remained in the sides of a cave. And the men of David said unto him, Behold, the day which the Lord said unto thee, Behold, I will deliver thine enemy into thine hand, that thou mayest do to him as it seemed good unto thee. So then David arose and cut off the skirt of Saul's robe privately. And it came to pass afterward that David's heart smote him. He was troubled because he had cut off Saul's skirt. He had cut off the king's skirt, even though the king tried to kill him. And he said unto his men, The Lord forbid that I should do this thing unto my master, the Lord's anointed, to stretch forth mine hand against him, seeing he is the anointed of the Lord. So David stayed his servants with these words and suffered them not to rise up against Saul. But Saul rose up out of the cave and went on his way. And so David arose afterward and went out out of the cave and cried after Saul, saying, My Lord, the king. And when Saul looked behind him, David stooped with his face to the earth and bowed himself. And David said to Saul, Wherefore hearest thou men's words, saying, Behold, David seeketh thy hurt. Behold, this day thine eyes have seen how that the Lord hath delivered thee today into mine hand in the cave. And some bid me kill thee, but mine eyes spared thee. 
And I said, I will not put forth mine hand against my Lord. And he is, cause he is, for he is the Lord's anointed. Moreover, my father, see, yea, see the skirt of thy robe in my hand. For in that I cut off the skirt of thy robe and kill thee not. Know thou and see that there is neither evil nor transgression in mine hand. And I'm not sinned against thee. Yet thou huntest my soul to take it. So the Lord judge between me and thee. And the Lord defend me of thee. But mine hand shall not be upon thee. <laughs> So, as said the proverb of the ancients, wickedness proceeded from the wicked, but mine hand shall not be upon thee. And after whom is the king of Israel come out? After whom dost thou pursue after a dead dog, after a flea? The Lord, therefore, be judge and judge between me and thee and see and plead my cause and deliver me out of thine hand. That's a prayer right there, verse 15, for President-elect Biden. That's what he has done. He hasn't fought. He ain't fought back Trump. He just been going on about his business for God to avenge him. And so it came to pass when David had made an end of speaking these words unto Saul, that Saul said, Is this thy voice, my son David? And Saul lifted up his voice and he wept. And he said to David, Thou art more righteous than I. For thou hast rewarded me good, whereas I have rewarded the evil. And thou hast shewed this day how that thou hast dealt well with me. For as much as when the Lord had delivered me into thine hand, thou killest me not. For if a man find his enemy, will he let him go well away? Wherefore the Lord reward thee good, for thou hast done unto me this day. And now, behold. I know well that thou surely be king and that the kingdom of Israel shall be established on thine hand. So swear now, therefore, unto me by the Lord that thou will not cut off my seed after me and that thou will not destroy my name out of my father's house. And David swore unto Saul and Saul went home. But David and his men gat them up unto the hold. May the Lord add a blessing to this exciting read on January 5th, 2021, when there is an election going on, when there is a lot of stuff that could be going on, where these people are standing still and they're waiting to see the salvation. I'm waiting to see. I'm waiting to see which way it go. Praise the name of the Lord. But we know that God does everything well. And if he allows something, then it will be done. And if he allow it not, then it won't be done. Praise God. Well, I want to thank everybody. Get you in, get you out on the 30. I want to thank each and every one for coming to the read this evening. I'm going to get off of here because I want to go see too. I want to see. I'd be interested in what be going on in the world, but I do the first work first. And my first work, my first priority is to the Lord. I come and do my read and then I do me. I spend most of the day getting ready for the read. My whole life is just ministry and reading the word. But that's my cho that's what my charge. That is what God has given me. I encourage you all to stay inside. Isaiah 26, 2021. Stay inside until this thing be passed. I got four more minutes before getting in and getting you out on the 30th. So let me read it. I want y'all, y'all hear me. I post it. I put it up. That's my mantra. I keep on saying it. I keep on singing. Isaiah 26, 2021. And it reads, come my people, enter thou into thy chambers, enter into your houses. Shut thy doors about thee. Close all your doors, all the doors in your house. Close the doors behind thee and hide thyself as it were for a little moment. For a little moment, a year, two years, a month, few months, it's almost a year already. So he already, that little moment already ran into a year. However long it take. Hide thyself for a moment until this indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity, for their willful sin. The earth is corrupt. So God's coming out of his place to get the whole planet earth for their iniquity. For the earth also shall disclose her blood. Now you can see it. They got the videos. They got to put the cams on. We got, they're going to disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Funeral homes is done. Got so full. 
the abortuaries, they can't, they ain't got nowhere else to bury their dead. Don't it say it right there? They ain't come, they will not be able to cover their dead. It's all right there in the word of God. So our job is to live in faith and not live in fear. Because God's got us. If you're a child of God, God's got you. But Corona is killing people, y'all. I got a call yesterday. Somebody got sick from somebody that came to their house to visit. Pass, ain't nobody in the house sick. Pass it on to the elder father. And today he's dead. And today he's dead. All of these life senseless deaths. Now, of course, it couldn't happen if God didn't allow it. But God is allowing us to make choices. Choose to wear a mask. Choose to stay inside. It's your choice. Go on outside and die then. If you want to go out there in the corrupt air and you don't want to wear no mask, then go on out there and die. Because that's what's in the air. Until this thing be passed. That's what the word tell me. I'll be trying to find a way out and I ain't figuring no way out of this word. I say, Lord, am I just being too, too? I'm staying in here all the time. I'm not afraid. I am not afraid. Don't get it twisted. I'm not afraid of going out. I'm not afraid of dying. But I am afraid of being disobedient to the word of God that he has given me. If he ain't gave it to you and that ain't your scripture, then stand on whatever scripture God has given you. But that's what he's given me, Courtney. God has given me the word of God, Isaiah 26 and 20. I'm going to stand on it till the wheels fall off until this virus be gone. It ain't gone yet. It's getting worse. <laughs> All right, let me go see what's going on with the election in Georgia. We've been praying. We've been praying. Hey, Chase, you might have late. Where you been? Chase used to be the first one here. Chase was faithful. He done fell off. Where you done fell off to, Chase? But that's okay. Everybody can't go with Everybody can't go with you where you're going. Some people will run with you for a season. Many things are seasonal, and it's okay. Don't get upset with people when they leave after their season is up. And then there are some people like Diane and her babies that have been with me the whole duration. They've been with me the whole duration. They don't come and they don't go out. They don't come and leave. They are here consistent, continually. Praise God. So I thank God for them. Okay, I thank God for each and everybody. Thank God, Chase. Look at the replay. Look at the replay. I thank God for each and everybody. A lot of died and everybody. 730. God bless you and good night. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And accept whoever you are listening on the side of my accept the election. My we live in a democratic society. So whatever the voters say, whatever they do, accept it. Run with it. It ain't that deep. People just special tonight. All right, so I'm signing off of all my 12 platforms, which are uh, Facebook, Facebook, uh, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, and LinkedIn. Those are all the platforms over there. All right, I love you. I love you. Who hung in here with me? Oh, Brother Troy. God bless you, Troy. I've seen you done had sons get married. I done seen weddings taking place. I think we had babies. All kind of good stuff happened to you in 2021. And 2020 is going to be just as good. Y'all pray for me. I know y'all be praying for me. I love you guys. God bless. So we're coming out of Instagram. Uh, meet me over here. Meet me. God bless each and every one of you who has come onto my platform. You have come onto the platform of Mama Pam, Minister Pam. <clears throat> and I come on here not trying to meet nobody. Trying to help you meet Jesus. Okay? So join me again tomorrow at 7 p.m. We'll be here. God bless. Until... So signing out, and you, my backup, praise God, I am Mama Pam. Any donation that you want to send, you can send it to paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson, paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson, and or dollar sign Mama Pam 23. These broadcasts do cost. These gadgets cost. But nonetheless, if you want to support your can, if not, oh well, keep on coming. Praise God. Until the next week, I love you. God bless.